Well, hey guys, I'm Brian Abel here, webtennis.com, another episode of What's the Right Shot. Hope you are having a spectacular day so far, uh, wherever you are. Another gorgeous day here in the desert. We're looking at mid 80s this afternoon. Um, I got a little coaching client first, and then I got uh, some uh, work out in the clay court later this afternoon. Really looking forward to that. In the meantime, what I've got for you is a new episode today. Uh, men's doubles from uh, the Wilson World Classic last month over at the uh, over in Palm Desert at the Shadow Mountain Tennis Club. Guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Watch this episode all the way to the end because uh, our our very famous Jeff Jacklich uh, is going to show you a shot that you need to learn. So the big question is this: How do players like us who never made a dime on the pro tour? How do we consistently bring out our very best tennis without spending endless hours trying to perfect stroke technique? The answer is knowing where we want the ball to land over there and then where to move to next on the court. Hi, my name is Brent Abel and welcome to What's the Right Shot? Here we go, and um, we got Jeff Jacklich with the serve. His partner is Mark Nicholson. Returning serve is Mike Tammons, and Mike's partner uh, is Mike Magali. And uh, this has got a lot of elements in this point right here. Um, that uh, this is not an easy ball, right? I know. I know Jeff's trying to go in the middle and get a little something on it. Uh, but doesn't quite get there. It gives Mike a chance for it. And now let's go ahead and just kind of play it in real time until we get right about here. And this is where I stopped. I think I stopped it right here and got you thinking about what shot you would play uh, from this position in the court. And uh, the shot that Mike decides to go with is kind of a slice Right, kind of a slice forehand up the line, which, um, you know, who's to say? Mike may have been thinking that Jeff was going to cross and just in, antis in anticipation of that decided to take this forehand and go up the line. Well, Jeff did not cross. And so right about here, I'm going to stop it here. And if you're Jeff Jacklich, you know, what do you feel is the right shot, right? What's the, what's the right shot? And if either one of the mics can get to it, where do you want to be court position wise? Um, and so, which which is always, you know, it's 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 always part of shot choice uh, in singles and doubles is where do you want the ball to land over there, and where do you want to move to next? All right. And so, as I'm blabbing away, you're thinking now right about where you want to play this ball, right? Well, look, you got both opponents in the in the back, right? And so, look, a little drop volley in here is a big-time possibility, right? Um, a standard in the middle between the two guys. And remember, the middle is not always like right here at the, at the center hash mark. It just depends on where these two players are. The middle is sort of a, 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 moving, um, is a moving center depending on where your two opponents are. So in this case... It would be right, sort of right in, right about in here would be the middle, right? Uh, you could think about playing a, a volley deep to Mike Tammons' feet. Always a good play uh, because Jeff's really not out of position here. And Mark is looking to sort of move forward depending on what Jeff does. Or you could do the very creative and multi-talented uh, Jeff Jacklich and carve this little bad baby, this little bad boy, um, into the open court for an outright winner. So how do you do that? How do you take what Jeff has done? Well, there's a couple things I want you to think about. First of all, it's early prep, right? His racket's already ready, right? He's not, he's not getting ready at the last second. Now, one of the things this does when you have early racket prep is it holds these two opponents from, from really having any idea what you're going to do with your shot. 
So he kind of holds them, but the other thing it does is it makes shot choice for Jeff super simple that if he decides to carve around the outside part of the ball, right, the outside part um, that, that that's uh, available to him. Now, look, let's say that Mike Tammons had, had actually anticipated this shot and started moving there and maybe Jeff had shown the shot early in the match and, and Mike Tam is starting, starting to move there as he is a little bit. Um, well, even, even if Mike gets there, I still think that Mark and Jeff are going to be in pretty good, pretty good core positions to be able to, uh, to cover up. So guys, as always, let's do a couple things here. Number one, uh, if you're over at YouTube, um, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, uh, number two, if you love this video, go ahead and click the like button. There's also uh, an alert bell when you when you click that, you get notified every time I publish a new YouTube video. And uh, would all, you know, always love to read and respond to your comments down below. And um, if you haven't already, already done so, um, you know I got another free thing for you. Uh, just go ahead and click the link down in the description area, and. Um, I'm going to hook you up with something else that's good right now. It's a free serve course, my free Tossman serve course. By the time you watch this video, um, that may not be the case, but I've always got something for you there. Guys, as always, come on now. Got to get out there and help someone else have a spectacular day.